Hey everybody. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fill in this little cubby hole on your 2007-2013 GMC Sierra and Chevrolet Silverado. First, what we're going to want to do is remove this uh, instrument panel bezel. Uh, if you don't know how to remove it, I have a video on how to remove it. After you've removed it, you got six locking tabs on each side. You want to pull those locking tabs over while pulling up on the bezel. And it'll, uh, it'll come right out. After you remove the uh, the little cubby, it's actually got this little bevel right here that protrudes from the inside of the cubby, uh, which is actually really perfect for what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna draw it out and then get a piece of, uh, you can get metal, you can get plastic, and, uh, and cut out a portion that'll fit right here so it'll fit flat and flush against the uh, bezel itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of a uh, cardstock. This is actually a piece of folder, but uh, it's just something I had laying around. Something a little thicker than paper. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big Sharpie marker. This is probably the biggest Sharpie marker I've ever seen in my life. But um, what you're going to want to do is uh, take your Sharpie marker. Make sure you hit the corners first. Get it good and wet on them corners. and then roll it onto your, your paper. Yeah, that one didn't do so good. I'll do it again real quick. All right, that pretty much gives me my outline. I can see where I need to go. I'll take a, another Sharpie and trying to fill in. All right, so that's my uh, my design for this uh, this piece right here. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and uh, and cut it out. Make sure you cut on the outside edge of the line. We're actually going to be using the outside edge when we uh, when we cut the the plastic out or the metal out. Just depends on what you want to use. Um, because you're going to want it to be flush and look, you know, pretty neat. I mean, if you want it to be a mess, you can, but I like to have my stuff looking nice, like it was factory. All right, so we're gonna use this, and like I said, we're gonna use this as a template on a piece of plastic and uh, cut that out. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a piece of this uh, eight by 10 acrylic. Uh, I really like acrylic because uh, it's, it's got some flex to it. Um, and when you look at this, it actually has a little bit of a curve to it. So you're gonna need whatever you put on there to flex. Uh, you can use like a piece of eighth inch steel or quarter inch steel um, plate if you want to uh, take time to cut it and bend it and make it work. But uh, acrylic will work and it'll paint up just fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, one piece of acrylic, lay it down, put my uh, piece on here so I know pretty much how to cut it out. Set this one on the end. Take a razor. 
Once I got that cut like that, take a screwdriver or something, stick it under it, and pop it. Go ahead and take your razor, cut the plastic, and now you got something to work with. I, I believe I can make two out of this. Yep, two. So I'm going to do the same thing down the middle. That way I got two, just in case one of them uh, doesn't uh, sand out or gets a crack in it or something. I always have another one I can use. And when you take your piece of acrylic and you put it on there, you can see it uh, is high on one side. You can push it down and it'll go flat all the way across. We are going to cut this bevel right here off so it has a flatter surface to... Uh, to grab to. Next, okay, so let's go ahead and peel uh, one side of this uh, off. It's a little protective layer. Like I said, it doesn't matter if it gets scratched up a little bit. We're going to be painting this anyway. After that, go ahead and put your stencil on here. We want to go to the end of it, to the outside edge. So even when you're sanding it down, you don't want to stay on the outside. So this part is probably going to be a little bit loud, so I'm probably going to end up muting it. But what you want to do is just sand this part down flat almost until it touches the black line. And like I said, I went almost all the way to the edge, um, all the way around it. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this bevel off. Alright, so after that's done, all we got to do is, uh, don't worry about if you caught the edge here. All that's going to be covered. I'm going to take a, uh, a little razor. And clean this up but uh, after that's done we'll head on back and uh, see how it fits in the vehicle next thing we want to do is go ahead and fit our glass just to make sure it's gonna fit without uh, having to, to cut a little bit more off or anything it fits pretty good it has a little gap right here. I could have probably cut it a little bit better, but other than that, it's pretty pretty close. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write on here, top right hand side. That way I know that when I go to put this on and glue it, I gotta glue it but that is the top right hand side just like that alright so what I'm gonna do here is I got a 
some one minute epoxy. I'm gonna go ahead and put that one minute epoxy together. Mix it up. I'm gonna coat the edge of this real quick. like that. Alright. Top right, top right. Put it on there and hold it down. And hope it's close enough. All right, so I've let this sit for about four hours. The next thing we want to do is, since we're going to put switches in here, uh, we need to cut the back of it out. Uh, that way you can get to it. You only need this point, right, you know, this part. So if you want to cut it up here, that's fine. I'm probably going to cut mine about halfway. And after that, we're going to mark the front, you know, um, and then put our switches in. All right, so we got it to where uh, we can see through, get to the wires and everything. Uh, I'm gonna get me a little ruler, measure this out, so I can go ahead and drill my holes. And like I said, the back of it doesn't matter. It, you know, if it was cut right or perfect, that's why I didn't mark it. Um, you won't be able to see anything in there. Uh, so it really doesn't matter what the back looks like. All right, since I'm not in school anymore, I couldn't find a ruler, but of course I got a measuring tape. Looks like it's about three inches wide. So we're gonna mark that as one and a half. And three and a quarter tall, so two point seven five. Alright, let's take something straight here and draw my little All right, so I got four boxes. If I wanted to put four switches in there, I could. Uh, I'm only gonna put two switches in this one. So I'm gonna put a switch in the middle of this one and in the middle of this one. I'm just gonna kind of eye gaze this. It don't have to be perfect unless you want it to be. All right, let's go ahead and drill the hole. All right, 
So I'm not happy about these holes at all. Uh, nobody in existence where I live had a 15 16 drill bit, none of the stores or anything. And uh, I wasn't about to drive 45 minutes to go pick one up. So I took my drill and I wallowed them out enough to get these in. It does have a, uh, a border on it, so you won't be able to see it. It's just not what I like to do. But anyway, I got it, uh, I got it clean now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take me a little piece of scotch pad, um, scratch this up a little bit. Just enough that it'll, the paint will adhere to it. alcohol prep pad throw it around for a minute and then I'll clean it up let that dry for a minute all right I'm gonna get this just a light coat of a uh, flat black All right, so I got it painted up. It came out a little satin. I thought it was flat, uh, but it'll be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stick these in. Let's see, hold on. Just like that. All right, gonna go ahead and stick it in here. See how it come out. Pretty clean. If it was a, uh, you know, all flat, it'd probably look a little bit better, but. I'm not too disappointed in the way it turned out. And you're done. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And as always, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe. Thanks again for watching.